kind of remembered the, uh, the route. So, uh, if, if you can't hear, guys, feel free to squeeze in. Enjoy that. Hands up if you saw someone. We're going to finish you up in a bit, Davis. There's only so much you can do in 20 minutes. Who saw a friend from camp here today? Yeah, so good to see some familiar faces. Um, it's exciting for us to bring these players back together uh, for the Skills Challenge Final. Not because we use the scores in the Skills Challenge Final to assess these players, because we don't. Um, any player can have a good day, any player can have a bad day. And these concrete scores that we get from these, uh, these events are very arbitrary and we pay absolutely no attention to them in the long term at all. But having said that, what we found when we looked at the pool of players that we'd invited, purely on the maths, is that a lot of the players here are right at the top level of our programme. Hands up who's already played for our showcase tournament teams. So a lot of you, and those of you that haven't yet played for our showcase tournament teams, a lot of you here today are on our radar and may get an invite for that. So, you know, it shows that the skills challenges we're, we're putting in place do measure something effective that we have got such a talented bunch of players here. Unfortunately, we don't have prizes for everyone and we can't get everyone down on the field at half time because that field is sacred. Uh, but we do have the final results. I'm pretty good at maths, so uh, try not to question me. Before, uh, before we make these announcements, I will say individual scores will be available from me via email on Monday. What we don't want is at the end of uh, this presentation, we don't want kids coming up to us and saying, oh, what did I score on this, or did I score higher than such and such, because that's not what today's about. Today isn't about giving you all a score and finding out who's better than who. It's about bringing top players together, introducing you to some old friends, and seeing the quality of our players across the board. So as I say, if you do want to know what you scored individually, don't go and ask your coach now. Ask mum and dad, and they'll ask me on Monday. Okay? We're going to go in reverse age order. We have a runners-up prize and a first place prize for each, for each age group. So group number one, that was the green group, 96s and 97s. In second place with a total score of 1,075 points, Kyle Herkamp. Where's Kyle? Round of applause. Kyle came all the way from Indiana for this. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah. You're a Colts fan. You're a Colts fan. In first place for the 96 and 97 group, and winner of the Red Bull Science Training Jersey, with 1,150 points, Cameron Rear. <laughs> 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 In the, in the second group, in the red group, which was 98 and 99s, we did have a tiebreaker. Uh, we did have a tie for second place, but because we only have one runners up prize, round of applause for third place with 1,075 points, Joe Desart. Alright, Joey! Also with 1,075 points, but pips Joey to second place on the basis of having a higher median score, which means he scored higher on each individual event. Ariel Parada. Right. I want to see you wearing that at the stadium tonight. Now the minds are starting to tick, aren't they? Because the winner of Group 2 also receives a sign Thank you.
youngest group, 2000s and 2001s. Thanks very much. We'll see you all at the game tonight, guys. Thanks for coming. Hi.